Hi everyone, so today I am doing a 1930s style manicure. In the early 1930s, people also had white or silver tips to go along with the half moon, and in the later 1930s, it was just the half moon. So the first product I'm going to apply is Orly's Bonder, and this is just my base coat. I find that this is the one of the better base coats that I've used because it feels like it's slightly tacky. So the first color I'll be using is Sally Hansen's Extreme Wear in Celeb City, which is a beautiful sparkly silver color. I'm just applying one coat of this color. Um, if you're using a less opaque color, you may want to apply several coats. However, I'm just making sure that with the area where the half moon will be, will um, be opaque. And then you also have to let this dry thoroughly or else the stencil that we're using for the half moon will peel up the polish. What I'm using for the half moon stencils are these reinforcements for hole punch pages. These ones are clear because I find that they adhere a little bit better than the paper ones. And they're also thinner so they're easier to get right into the edges of your nails. So I just stuck it to my skin to remove some of the tackiness. This prevents it from lifting some of the polish when I remove it. And I'm just doing one nail at a time. You can also apply it to all your nails at once. Now I'm going to be using Blackout, Sally Hansen's Extreme Wear color. I like this polish because it's very opaque and it just takes one coat. Now a trick that I learned to get a nice crisp line is to actually remove the stencil or tape before it dries and that gives you a nice crisp line. It doesn't lift any of the polish. So I'm just applying China Glaze's Fast Forward Top Coat. This is just a fast drying top coat. In my previous video I said I didn't like using them because they dry up too fast. However, I had this one kicking around still so I figured I may as well use it up before it dries out. So these are the finished nails. And amazingly enough, black and silver were actually common nail polishes that were used back in the 30s. So I hope you enjoyed and thank you for watching.